All right, let's go back to one of our headline stories today and move away from the blackouts issue for now. A 3.9 magnitude tremor struck the Tugela Fault just after midday today. It is a developing story. We're trying to get as much information as we can. What we can tell you, thankfully, there's been no reports of injuries or damage to buildings so far. It was just a few days ago that we were reporting of seismic activity in Gauteng, specifically in the western area. Uh, residents were woken just after 4 o'clock in the morning. So how concerned should we be about today's tremor? Well, Council for Geoscience Seismologist, it is Dr. Aldrin, uh, Aldrich Khaswane joining us this morning. Doctor, or this afternoon. Do Doctor, good afternoon to you. So when we talk about a 3.9 magnitude, I want to stop there and ask you, is this a tremor? Is this an earthquake? I don't want to mix things up. How are you, Doctor? Tell me, how serious is 3.9? Okay, thanks, uh, Gareth, and uh, the, your viewers there. Um, yeah, well, the distinction between what uh, uh, an earthquake and a tremor is, it's usually uh, vague uh, in a sense that uh, tremor is what we say it's a small earthquake. And then, an, um, you know, an earthquake, you know, you could be referring to something uh, big. Uh, again, you know, yeah, I'm saying it's vague because you see, it 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 all it depends on uh, the country where you are. Mm. Uh, in a country like South Africa, you know, you could say an earthquake. Maybe it's something as uh, bigger than a magnitude of four, uh, because these earthquakes, you know, are rare. You know, uh, in our in our yard. So in other countries, they, it could be a different uh, magnitude, uh, what you call, uh, altogether. When we talk about the Tugela Fault, I understand anything to do with earthquakes, doctor, anything to do with tremors, uh, is always going to center around a fault area. I think many people will know Los Angeles or San Francisco, the fault areas there. I didn't realize we had areas designated as faults. This one is the Tugela Fault. How concerning is the Tugela Fault? Um, well, we don't really have uh, what we call a, uh, a conspicuous uh, a seismic history you know, around the Tugela Fault. Uh, so, Suffice to say that you know earthquakes, they you know they are uh, infrequent. Uh, yeah, but uh, you know, yeah, as I say, we we don't actually have a rich history, you know, of seismicity around the two, uh, the, the let's say the together river, or near the together uh, river, as compared, for instance, to the series Tulba, you know, earthquake in the Cape Province. So when we start looking at this Tugela Fault now, this 3.9 magnitude tremor, and I want to make sure I use the right terminology here, and then we had this incident a couple of days ago, Doctor, uh, up on Gauteng's uh, western area. Uh, are we seeing more and more seismic activity, or is it just because the media are reporting on it now? Is this sort of everyday work for you, or are we seeing more and more seismic activity? Uh, well, it's, 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 it's difficult to say, uh, you know, if we are seeing uh, more earthquakes. Uh, I, again, you need to say, you know, where, which area are you talking about? You know, if you are looking at uh, uh, the, the mining regions, you know, where there is uh, what you call uh, on a daily basis, you know, frequent seismic occurrences, but again, those occurrences would be, say, less than a magnitude of uh, three. And then uh, in contrast to, uh, you know, areas elsewhere in our country where you could be looking at uh, natural earthquakes, these natural earthquakes, you know, are, uh, are, are infrequent. You know, so they do not occur, you know, uh, frequently. Mm. I take us back to the 31st yeah. of December, 1932, what was the area still known as Zululand back then. And uh, one of the early reports of uh, a fault line in Tugela goes as far back 
uh, as that. So are you telling South Africa tonight, Dr. Khaswane, that there's nothing really to worry about? Yes, you know, for one, we we are on an intraplate, uh, you know, stress zone, uh, you know, meaning that we are on a stable continental region. So, you know, we, we don't actually have a history of violent uh, seismic occurrences in this country. You do have occasional earthquakes, you know, uh, like this one, which is just around four. Yeah, and uh, so, yeah, there, there isn't really much to worry about other than that um, we would appreciate that, you know, the public, uh, you know, they visit our website frequently, you know, if they feel, uh, you know, tremors or if they feel seismic vibrations, you know, in their, you know, in their area mm. to report on this, you know, so that, you know, we also have a a comprehensive information, you know, on our side. If we were, as a last question to you, Dr. Khaswane, uh, as a seismologist, I imagine you're looking at analytics, you're looking at data and predictivity as well. Are you able to predict uh, when the next tremor uh, in South Africa is going to be? Are there areas of concern? No, Gareth, at the moment, uh, prediction is still an elusive, uh, you know, issue. But then we are not uh, the only ones. Uh, I think the, the world over, mm. uh, people are trying to come up with a, um, you know, with, with a, a method, you know, that can accurately predict earthquakes. We're not at that point. <clears throat> Uh, and, and when we now just take a look at uh, any aftershocks, and I hope, again, I'm using the right terminology, is there any concern for aftershocks near the Tugela Fault line and towards the Tugela Fault area? Any aftershocks we need to be aware of? Well, uh, aftershocks, uh, yes, there is a possibility for them to, uh, to, to occur. Uh, you know, it, it is uh, expected, I mean, in, 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 in seismological terms, it is expected. Uh, but again, you know, this is something that is difficult to predict. Of course. It's, it's, it's not easy to say statistically how much of the aftershocks can we expect. All right, but you would, you would caution everyone in the Tugela area to be careful. Would you say that's the advice tonight? Yes, yes. I would say, you know, people should uh, be careful, you know, especially being around uh, the area where the earthquake happened, you know, just uh, take, uh, uh, you know, precautions. Uh, if they have to be there, then, uh, you know, they would need to be away from tall structures, uh, tall buildings, uh, trees, and all those things, you know, that could, uh, you know, collapse maybe as a result of, you know, another earthquake happening or, you know, an aftershock, you know, as you rightfully say. Well, certainly I hope that is not uh, the case this evening. Uh, Dr. Aldridge uh, Kaswane is a seismologist at the Council for Geoscience. Just after midday today, 3.9 magnitude tremor uh, on the Tagela Fault. Uh, unsure at the moment what may have caused it. Unsure if it's going to happen again. But as always, and good advice from the good doctor, uh, is if you are in the area of Tagela, uh, to or just please be careful at least for the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, for any aftershocks. We will continue to try and get more information, but luckily no injuries are, no reports of injuries uh, or collapsed buildings.